Today, these two teams compete to advance through this semifinal round to the championship round where they'll take on Valparaiso in this academic tournament. It's Michigan City and Chesterton. And it's coming up on Making the Great. For over 30 years, Chester Information Technologies has assisted school administration and faculty with technology needs to better help their students make the grade. More information at ChesterInc.com. Welcome to season four of Making the Grid. What a great season so far. I'm your host, Tavis Buchan. This is the academic tournament where these area schools and their students, all of whom are returning, compete through the semifinal round to the next round, which is the championship round, where you uh, will be looking for the prizes, the bragging rights, of course, the trophies, and yes, the scholarship money provided by Nipsco. How are we feeling? You excited for making the grade? Yeah. yeah, we've got a good crowd again here in the studio. Okay, we're going to take a moment. We'll meet our students here in just a few moments, but let's try to get some points on the board. We've got a lot of game to go here. All right, we begin with round one, which is question and answer. You know how it works. I ask the question, you buzz in with your answer. If you're correct, you get the points. Incorrect, it goes over to the other side for a chance to counter. Let's begin. Its major branches include Shaktism and Smartism. Name this major religion whose scriptures include the Bhagavad Gita, and that includes the practice Dakota for Michigan City. Hinduism. Hinduism is correct. Michigan City is first on the board. Let's resume. Name the South American country whose southern border is Brazil, whose western section contains Lake Maracaibo, and whose capital city, Joe from Chesterton. Uh, Venezuela. Venezuela is correct. Yes, Chesterton is on the board now early as well. Here we go. No more talking amongst yourselves. One of its inspirations was camembert cheese melting in the sun. Identify this Salvador Dali painting that shows three very soft pocket watches. What is the name of that painting? Buzz in if you think you know. Joe from Chesterton. Uh, time and Consciousness? No, not Time and Consciousness. Michigan City, you're on the clock with a chance to counter. Buzz in if you think you know it. Tyler from Michigan City. Melting Time. No, good guess. The Persistence of Memory is the correct answer. No penalties for incorrect answers. Let's move on. Identify the legal concept of whose fault it is when a bad thing happens and costs money to fix. What's the legal concept? What is that term? What is that word? One word. Jonah from Chesterton. Liable. Liable, yes, or liability. All right, we move on. Oop, that's okay. It would count for, we're good. Here we go. What country saw the Battle of Dunkirk and the Normandy landings during World... And Joe from Chesterton. Uh, France. France is correct. Yes, France is correct. Just a tap of the buzzers. Here we go. Identify the type of radiation that doesn't change an atom's atomic number or mass when it emits Jonah from Chesterton. Gamma radiation. Gamma radiation. Yes, also what turned Bruce Banner into the Hulk, right? Let's continue. In the novel Jane Eyre, Give the first name of the crazy woman who marries Rochester and then burns down his mansion. Who is that crazy woman? Who is that? Jonah from Chesterton. Leah? No. That is incorrect, Michigan City. You do have a chance to counter the name of the crazy woman. Tyler from Michigan City. Gail. Not Gail. Gail sounds like a crazy person, right? Bertha. Bertha. Okay. Of course not. My mom's name is Gail. <laughs> All right, we continue. Name the component of aqua regia secreted by your stomach lining that kills bacteria and aids in digestion by keeping the pH of your stomach around two. What's the component? Jonah from Chesterton. Stomach lining? Not stomach <coughs> lining, no. Michigan City, you do have a chance to counter. Any guesses? Got to play to win. 
All right, time's up. Hydrochloric acid. Oh. Okay, hydrochloric acid. Let's move on. Five years, no more talking amongst yourselves, five years before James Garfield became U.S. president, he served on the Electoral Commission that decided the controversial 1876 election in favor of Tyler from Michigan City. Uh, uh, Rutherford B. Hayes. Yes, it was Hayes. That's right. All right, that is the uh, last question of the first round. we got a close game. Chesterton leading right now, 20 to 10. Let's go ahead and take a break from the game, and uh, let's meet the class. Let's begin with Michigan City. Seeing you all before as we're in the semifinal rounds. Welcome back. Hey, everybody. Dakota, Dakota, you are a junior at Michigan City. Welcome back. You're actually named after two states. Yes. Which ones? East and West Dakota. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that doesn't come up in the game. <laughs> all right, Tyler, you're a senior and we learned about what school you're going to. You got that all planned out. Yep. But even further, what school is it? Uh, Central Michigan University. Because you were a senior, you're going to move on yep. there. You got a major picked out, everything? Yeah, broadcast journalism and secondary education, so a double major. Hey, whoa, well, you've got some experience on making the grade, yeah. right? Caitlin, Caitlin, you are a freshman, and you have a couple of pets. Yeah, I, ha I have two pet African dwarf frogs at home. Wow, you yeah. know they make dogs and cats. I do, but yeah. frogs are cool. Okay, that's cool. How long have you had them for? Uh, about three months now. Three months, mm -hmm. okay. Kasha, you're a junior. You have two pet turtles. No, just kidding. You know, do you? <laughs> no, but you've got things figured out as well. You know where you're going to school. Yeah, Valparaiso University. What, four do you know already? Are you as far ahead as Tyler is figuring that out? Law school. Law school. Great. Congratulations. Hey, good luck to you guys. Michigan City coached by Brian Richards, the returning coach again. Hey, Brian, let's move on to Chesterton. Chesterton, Kyle, you're back. You're a sophomore, and you're going on a trip. Uh, you're going on a trip this summer where are you going yeah. i am going to japan for a class trip class trip yeah. any specific reason why what's the goal main goal um i just wanted to go before my senior year they yeah. go every two years i didn't want to get in the way of college visits possibly or something like that. okay you well, got no, plan out be a little late yeah you got it planned but, out yeah. have fun all right bring me back something <laughs> Joe, you're a junior, and you're going on a trip as well. Where are you going, Japan? I'll be going to Virginia, actually. Yeah. To a little closer. To our Civil War battlefields with the school group. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All it's right. Well, time. we may have some questions pertaining to that. Michaela, you're a senior, and uh, you like to do, this is kind of a fun alternative sport. You like to play Ultimate Frisbee. Yes. Ultimate Frisbee, where, where could you do that and when? We basically do it at night, actually, because night. we have a light-up disc. Oh, that sounds fun. It's a lot of fun. And then we typically go either to the high school practice field or we've also played at friends' houses before, too. Just a big open field. All right. Jonah, Jonah, you're a senior. You're a major fan of uh, modernist literature. Who are some of your favorites? Oh, I definitely love T.S. Eliot above all else. Love Song of Jail for Proof Rock. It's my favorite poem of all time. Reading any of them now? Uh, no, not the moment. I'm actually reading The Naked and the Dead by Mailer, which is a World War II novel, so I'm taking a break from modern. I won't tell you how it ends. Okay. It's good. <laughs> uh, Anna Zervos, you are the coach of uh, Chesterton. Thanks so much for returning. All right, you guys, good luck to you. Let's go ahead and move on to the next round. This next round is Class Project. You remember how it goes, much like question and answer. I ask the question, see if you can provide me an answer, but you have to wait till it's your turn. We're going to go down the line. We've got Kasha and Jonah, Michaela and Caitlin, Tyler and Joe, and then it's Kyle and Dakota. We'll come back up if need be. Let's go ahead and continue. Jonah and Kasha. From the Latin for something entangling the feet, what 10-letter word, often used with the word speech, describes what someone has who stammers, has a lisp, or stutters a lot? Jonah from Chesterton. Impediment? Yeah, that would be a speech impediment, okay? We're going to go ahead and move down Michaela and uh, Caitlin now. The next question. Its nicknames come from both the singing required to perform it and the Schiller poem that is sung during its final movement. Identify this final symphony of Ludwig van Beethoven. Beethoven's final symphony. Buzz in if you think you know it, you are on the clock. Caitlin, you got in before the buzzer. Caitlin from Michigan City. Was it his eighth symphony? It was not his eighth. You have a chance to counter, Michaela. Gotta buzz in. Michaela from Chesterton, take a guess. Ballet. No, no, it would be the ninth. Ninth symphony, let's move on. It's Joe and Tyler, here we go. 
In math, what concept is typically expressed by a pair of vertical bars, one before a number, or Joe from Chesterton? Not parallel? Not parallel. Tyler, you do have a chance to counter one before a number or expression and the other one after it. What would you call that, Tyler from Michigan City? Absolute value. Absolute value is correct, yes. We've got Kyle and Dakota up now. The Tower Bridge goes across the Thames River in what European capital city? Dakota from Michigan City. London. London, England is correct, yes. Let's come on back up, we've got a tight game here. Okay, Jonah and Kasha. Walt Whitman wrote the poem, When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed, name the large mammal that fits Jonah from Chesterton. Oh no, um, a dog. Not a dog, not a dog. So name the large mammal that fits in sci-fi author Ray Bradbury's similar title, When Blank Last in the Dooryard Bloomed. It's a mammal. Any guesses? Buzz in if you want to take a guess. There's lots of mammals. I'm taking, oh, nope, no guess. Elephants, that's all right. We move on down, Michaela and Caitlin. In the original Gutenberg Bible, what color was generated from carbon, possibly from lamp soot? Michaela from Chesterton. Black. Black is correct, yes. Joe and Tyler, you're up now. He was elected U.S. President in 1848. Identify this chief executive nicknamed Old Rough and Ready. Joe from Chesterton. No, Zachary Taylor. Zachary Taylor is correct with confidence. And Kyle and Dakota, you're up now. To the nearest integer, what is the atomic weight of oxygen? Kyle from Chesterton. Uh, 16. 16 is correct. Yeah, we've got a game here. Let's come on back up to the front. It is Jonah and Kasha once again. During the novel where he appears, he dispenses useful advice that is rarely taken by his friend, who is really a crazy knight errant looking to perform heroic deeds. Named this squire and sidekick of Don Quixote. Jonah and Kasha, any guess who was the sidekick of Don Quixote? Quixote. Jonah from Chesterton. Poncho? Not Poncho. Kasha, you do have a chance to counter. Any guesses at all? No? Who's the sidekick of Don Quixote? It would be Sancho Panza. It'd be Panza, okay? We have Michaela and Caitlin now. What word, starting with C, is the Roman god of love who is very popular on Valentine's Day? Caitlin from Michigan City. Cupid. Cupid is correct. Yes, Caitlin, all right. Tyler and Joe, you're up. Part of its mission is to help implement No Child Left Behind. Identify this cabinet-level department supervised in 2013 by former Chicago school's chief, Arnie Duncan. Tyler from Michigan City. Uh, the Department of Education. That is correct, Tyler, yes. All right, let's move on down. Chesterton leading 40 to 30 right now. It's Kyle and Dakota. This is the last question of this round. During the golden age of ancient Athens, what philosopher committed suicide by hemlock? Dakota from Michigan City. Socrates. Socrates is correct. Yes, that is the final correct answer of that round. And right now we have a score of Chesterton leading 40 to 35. Lots of game. This is where you can get together. Use your teamwork skills. It is the quiz. All right, the pop quiz. You know how it works. I have uh, three categories, three categories, and uh, we will give you the hardest clue first for the most amount of points. We'll start with 30 points. We'll go through social studies, science and math and literature and language arts if we can get through it all. Let's go ahead and begin with social studies for 30 points. Here is your clue. Once divided into New Ulster and New Munster, it has been independent in some ways for nearly 200 years. But not until 1986 did England lose all of its rights to create law there. Where? Get together. Joe from Chesterton. No, Scotland. Not Scotland. You do have a chance to counter Michigan City, but you got to buzz in. That clock is ticking. Tyler from Michigan City. Ireland? Not Ireland. Okay, let's move on for 20 points. Your next clue. The year after it signed the Treaty of Watangi with its native Maori people, it became a separate crown colony 
Jonah from Chesterton. New Zealand. New Zealand is correct. Yes, came separate from Australia. Okay, we're done with social studies. Look out. Science and math now for 30 points. Its first book contains some basic algebra under the heading of common notions, such as subtracting the same number from each side of an equation is okay. The first book of this. Buzz in if you have any idea. No penalty for incorrect <coughs> answers. We're going to move on to uh, the 20-point clue. The first book of this classic mathematical text contains five basic postulates that include the line, all right angles, Joe from Chesterton. Uh, Principa Mathematica. No, that is incorrect. All right angles equal one another. You have a chance to counter Michigan City. Any guesses? No, looks like we're moving on to the next for 10 points. Here's your 10-point clue. It was written by the ancient Greek mathematician Euclid. Jonah from Chesterton. The Euclidean? Not the Euclidean. No. Do you have any guess? Michigan City. Any guesses at all? No, Euclid's elements. Elements. All right, we're done with it. We're moving on to literature and language arts. For 30 points, here's your clue. He has spent most of his life in Maine where he met his wife Tabitha and where most of his novels are set. Who is he? Tyler from Michigan City. Stephen King. Stephen King is correct. That for 30 points. Michigan City, go ahead and you pull in the lead. 65 to 60 now. That completes that round. We got right through that. So now we are going to move on to the final exam. All right, you know how. This works. You can talk amongst yourselves to select your category. Once you have, then uh, zip it. All right, we'll ask the question, and if you have the correct answer, if you think you do, go ahead and buzz in. So it looks like, Chesterton, you are trailing. Only by a mere five points, you have control of the board. What would you like? Uh, social studies. All right, social studies for 10 points. No more talking amongst yourselves. Here we go. Social studies for 10 points. The Japanese equivalent of America's Congress is known by this four-letter Tyler from Michigan City. The diet. Diet is correct for 10 points. All right. We have about eight minutes left, I'm hearing. Eight minutes left, and Michigan City, you have control of the board. What would you like? Social studies for 15. Would you like to move around? What would you like to do? Let's continue with social studies. Social studies for 15 points now. It raised tariff rates in America to more than 50%, which ended up making the Great Depression even worse. Name both the Tyler from Michigan City. Um, the smoot Holly tariff. No, I cannot accept that. I will, no talking amongst yourselves, continue the question. Name both the Oregon congressman and the uh, Utah senator who got the tariff through Congress and signed by Herbert Hoover in 1930. Joe from Chesterton. Uh, Smoot and Holly. No, no, you guys are close. It's a specific term. It's Holly Smoot. Other way around here, okay? That's all right. So we'll go ahead and Michigan City, you have control of the board. Keep going. Keep going. Social studies for 20 points. This woman became queen at age 16 following the death of Edward VI, but ruled England for only nine days. Who is this woman? Joe from Chesterton. Uh, Queen Anne. Not Queen Anne. You have a chance to counter Michigan City. Dakota from Michigan City. Queen Mary. Not Queen Mary, no. Lady Jane Grey. Lady Jane Grey for 20 points. You still have control of the board, Michigan City. We can go ahead and continue with this category. We can move around. What would you like? Let's try Broadway. Okay, let's move to Broadway, students. Broadway for 10 points. This will be fun. These annual awards mark outstanding Michaela from Chesterton. The Tony Awards. Tony Awards for 10 points. You now have control of the board, Chesterton. We've got a game, Michigan City, leaving 75 to 70. What do you want? World Geography for 10. World Geography now for 10 points. Founded by Pedro de Valdivia in 1541, this capital of Chile is divided in... 
Tyler from Michigan City. Santiago. Santiago is correct for 10 points. You have control of the board now, Michigan City. World Geography for 15. World Geography for 15 points. Here we go, students. This exceptionally dry area of northern Chile has areas that have never... Jonah from Chesterton. The Atacama Desert. The Atacama Desert is correct for 15 points. Now you have control of the board. What would you like? Would you like to continue? Continue on. Continue on. World Geography for 20 points. This state of Australia is actually located off Australia's southeastern coast and Joe from Chesterton. Uh, Tasmania. Tasmania is correct for 20 points. Yes, and Chesterton, you have taken the lead. You have control of the board. You should choose to continue. Choose to continue World Geography for 25 points. This mountain range contains the small nation of Andorra, connects the Mediterranean... Joe from Chesterton. Uh, the Pyrenees. The Pyrenees Mountains is correct, yes. we got five minutes left in the game. You have control of the board. We can finish off World Geography for 30 points. We can move around. British literature. British literature now for 10 points. Here we go. This first and main monster in the epic of Beowulf meets his end. Joe from Chesterton. Uh, Grendel. Grendel is correct, yeah, for 10 points. All right, you have control of the board. You want to continue? Oh, yeah, we'll keep going. We'll continue. All mm -hmm. right, British literature for 15 points. One story in Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book is about this python who, in the Disney movie, Tyler from Michigan City. Ka. Ka is correct, yes. 15 points. Now, you have control of the board. Let's go back to social studies. Back to social studies. We have social studies now for 25 points. This Nazi's hanging in 1962 is the only civil execution ever carried out in Israel five months after he was convicted for World War II crimes. Who is he? For 25 points, buzz in if you think you know. Jonah from Chesterton. Hessel? Not Hessel, you have a chance to counter Michigan City. Go ahead and buzz in if you think you know. Dakota from Michigan City. How about Castle Ring? No, it would be Eichmann. Adolf Eichmann. All right, we can finish off social studies for 30 points. We can move around. What would you like to do? Can, uh, finish off social studies. Social studies for 30 points now. A Colorado county is named for this supervisor of the long walk of the Navajo in 1864 and guided Tyler from Michigan City. Geronimo? Not Geronimo. <laughs> You've got a chance to counter Chester, Tim, and guided John C. Fremont through the western United States. Joe from Chesterton. Um, Carson. Yep, I'll accept Carson. That would be Christopher Kit Carson for 30 points. You have control of the board, Chesterton. Three minutes left in the game. What would you like? Chemistry for 10. All right, let's go with chemistry for 10 points, students. The ions acetate, bisulfate, chlorate, nitrate, and hydroxide all have this electrical charge. Michaela from Chesterton. Negative one. Negative one is correct for 10 points. Would you like to continue with chemistry? Yeah, yes, sure. Pencils and paper ready. You've got them in front of you. Here we go. Chlorine, being element number 17, has an electron configuration that begins with 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s2, and concludes with this. What is it? What is this? And Kyle from Chesterton. Uh, 3P5. 3P5 is correct for 15 points, yeah. We can continue with chemistry. We can move on. Continue with chemistry. chemistry. Two minutes left in the round. Chemistry for 25, or rather for 20 points, excuse me. Pencils and paper again. Two answers needed here, okay? I need two. If hydrogen peroxide undergoes decomposition, these two products result. Kyle from Chesterton. Uh, hydrogen and oxygen are H2 and O2. Mm, no, I can't accept that. Tyler from Michigan City. Hydrogen gas and oxygen gas? No, it would be water and oxygen. Water and oxygen, H2O or O2, okay? That's all right, you still have control of the board. We can go with chemistry for 25. We can move around, Grab under two bag. minutes left. Grab bag. Grab bag, it can be anything. Here we go, for 10 points. This tool has a version that helps you get leaves off the top of your swimming pool, just as you, Joe from Chesterton. A strainer. Not a strainer, 
Dakota from Michigan City. A skimmer. Not a skimmer, it would be a pool rake. Just like you would get leaves off your lawn, okay? You have control of the board. Would you like to continue with grab bag? We have one minute. We shall continue. We shall continue for 15 points. Though used less these days because of GPS, Boy Scouts must still learn how to use this device. I can, Jonah from Chesterton. A compass. Compass is correct for 15 points, yep. You wanna continue with grab bag? Yes, we will. We're continuing the grab bag for 20 points. Airedale, Bull, and Fox are all breeds of this type of dog. Dakota from Michigan City. Terrier. Terrier is correct. You have control of the board. I'd hustle it up. What would you like? Grab bag for 25 points. What do you want? World Geography 30. World Geography now for 30 points. Here we go. This small French-speaking African nation bordered on its east by Tanzania has a capital, Bujumbura, that borders on Lake Tanganyika. Tyler from Michigan City. Molly. Not Molly. <laughs> Do you have a guess? Chesterton. This will be the last question. Joe from Chesterton. From Uganda? No, not Uganda. Burundi. Brindy is the correct answer. That is it. We had a good game going on here. Thanks to everybody. Michigan City Valiant effort. Chesterton, you will advance to take on Valparaiso in the championship, which is coming up on Making the Grade. For over 30 years, Chester Information Technologies has assisted school administration and faculty with technology needs to better help their students make the grade. More information at ChesterInc.com.